I think it wore out a year or two sooner. And uh, the uh, the new one, so if it lasts another 10, 11 years, then that's okay, you know. This kit, the last kit I bought uh, a year or a year and a half ago, it cost 75 bucks. They weren't near that expensive before. But it it's the whole thing. It's not just this. You can get the bearing and all that. The new trailer hitch ball, the new baby ball, baby trailer hitch ball, and the and the bushing uh, and everything, and a little bit of that grease that they use comes in a little tube for, say, $25, $35, depending on where you go. And uh, <clears throat> that the whole kit with the bearing felt, because I knew some of that stuff was wearing out. Um, it, uh, my brain is going f f crazy. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm getting tired than I realized. I'm diabetic, so uh, I started feeling kind of hungry, but then it kind of went away. What it'll do after a while, it'll just hit you and you're about to collapse. And, and one of the symptoms is when your brain gets wonky. Of course, my brain's wonky most of the time. I wonder if that metal's ma magnetic. I was gonna all those little pieces. I was gonna try to pick them up. They're not sticking to anything magnetic. My screw. I know my Phillips screwdriver is magnetized. But uh, yeah, this is the other one that I wanted to test. I don't think there's. It's probably just fine. But let's test it now before I forget. So it should be closed naturally. I'll test them all right now. And I do want to. Yeah, that wire. I. It's not in great shape. Uh, that little one there, it's uh, it's not broken, but the insulation's been baked. That probably got baked. It wasn't my old. I have a bunch of pictures I took of it. The last, I guess, one of the last times I took it apart, and none of this was baked or, or heated. There's actually no insulation from here to there, uh, and actually it was in the pictures. And, but it looks like it was probably done in the factory. There's another, there's another one up here that's that way. Oh yeah, I want to test that. Uh, the incoming, I guess that doesn't matter. Well, I'll test it make sure. I don't think my, uh, that's actually good news because the most expensive part on the dryer is that doggone timer thing. I, I, it's, uh, I saw some used ones. I, I don't, I hate eBay. I wouldn't buy nothing on eBay ever, but I saw some on eBay for 25 Probably the shipping was 25 or $40. That's one of the reasons I hate eBay. But anyway, uh, used ones, they say work, but you're taking a big risk when you buy stuff like that. But new ones were, the new ones were $130 or $40 to $375, depending on where you went, you know. And uh, well, these, these uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is get my vacuum. Well, I'm either going to have to pick those up or get my vacuum, but there's so much grease on these gloves now, I'm not going to touch my multimeter with them on, so I'll just get them off. <coughs> and that's too greasy to keep using. So, uh, well, now I know what's really wrong with it. And so that, oh, this is about $75. Uh, and, you know, at some point, if, they, if, if everything uh, wears out, you know, at some point you might really want to buy a new one. And, but, you know, you're looking at minimum five fifty, dollars uh, probably for a new one. Or uh, up to, I hope I didn't. I saw a screw laying on this box, didn't go in the little box over here. Uh, well, I can, if I'm missing a screw, I'll have to try and remember where to look for it. Down in that box full of, full of paper plates and stuff. That's where we've been keeping them. But, uh, okay, so, uh, meter, contact, okay. Beepity beepity. Uh, that should be beepity beepity. Oh no, that's the that's the that's the connector for this. There we go. So yeah, if I connect to the other end of the doesn't want to beep. It's kind of corroded from being overheated all the time. Okay, now here's the other. There we go. Six ohms. Five ohms, four, three. It keeps going down. Okay, now the one down here. 
Can I reach? Four? Yeah, I think I can. Uh oh. This is the one I'm. There we go. Oh, I just accidentally touched the. I think I'm gonna have to uh, get my light over this way. Can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, there's more more connectors down there than I realized. So, uh, wow, there's a lot of connectors on that. I don't know what's what. There we go. I think. Let me put my little. Where's my little caps? It's getting it the way it is now. It's too easy to touch two things. They're so long. I usually don't take them off unless I really need to. These little caps keep you from touching stuff you don't want to. That's actually. I didn't know they had. They came off for the first year or year and a half. I had this thing. I accidentally pulled one off one time trying to do something. Okay, I see a. Okay, those two go together. Well, those all go together, but this has got four wires on it. One of them is black. I always think of black being ground because I'm kind of more of a DC minded person. Uh, that, uh, and I never can remember, you know. I mean, I don't, you don't. One thing about, especially in a house, an old house, well, no, appliances, anything, you know, people always get all bent up out of shape about color codes. There is no such thing as color codes. Every manufacturer, every electrician never do it yourself or they use what they don't they ignore whatever color there is no manufacturer's color codes but it, for houses like here in america there's you know black wires generally supposed to be one thing white's supposed to be the other green is ground uh so you need to know where they actually go and uh you know with ac you can figure out which one's hot and which one's common which one's uh neutral but that's the other thing, uh, the neutral and the ground. Okay, let's see. Yeah, our house only has two wires. We have, you could call it common, but neutral is what we have. Neutral and hot. That's all we have. We do not have ground. We don't have a ground stake. We don't have a third wire. And uh, it takes it a little more, a lot of times when you're buying things, you know, you need to think about uh, how to make that work or uh in this house, you know, it's not unsafe. It's the most ridiculous thing. I, uh, actually, the most most trouble I've ever had is ground wires because uh, it's so easy to get things grounded when you don't want them grounded and burn things up. Now I can see down in there. Uh, one thing I had been kind of thinking about doing. Let me see. I'm not going to do the cleaning right now. I keep keep wanting to clean that stuff out of there. I am wondering where my clip went, my other clip. The one that was on this side is gone, and I know I saw it. I wonder if it's still on the door. Oh, I think that's what they're supposed to do is stay on the door. Yeah, I bet it's over there on the door. These are drop lights. They're always such a pain get them to where you can actually see anything and have them not shine in your eyes and all that okay uh like right now if i and, and with the camera if i put it right up in here well it would be it would be bothering my eyes too it'd be reflecting too much but it really bothers the camera's eye that cyclops eye of the camera but what i'm thinking is you know what? I may do this. I may go ahead and pull some loose and stretch it around, hook it up, and see if it works. But not put it back together for use, I don't think. Uh, no, I'm too. I'm getting too tired. I'm going to have to eat. And once I eat, if I still feel like it, I will go ahead and put my bearing and everything on here. 
And if I do that, maybe I'll put it back together. But, well, we'll see. So what I'm thinking... How does that, oh, got to be careful with those. They fall out easy. Oh, I see. They go in, and then they're supposed to turn. I don't think that one was turned. There we go. I guess they turn themselves real easily. But I uh, can't quite get my chair up where I want it. There we go now. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. It's an awful lot of winding and moving. And... I think they'll go to... Right in there looks like it's pretty pretty burned up. Go to this one and then it, what'll happen is they'll break on you because they're so old and worn. Okay. Yeah, and they sell this whole thing with the metal plaque plate and everything for 75 bucks. But I saw one of these heating elements by itself for, I think, about 25 bucks somewhere would probably work it was while i was searching for this brand and everything but uh, there we go that's enough to get it up there i don't know how i'm going to connect it but let's see i think i stripped tap gum it let's lean over the side and see if i can do it that way I, no i can't lean that far i will fall on my head this bar that holds this thing together here it's really in the way for working on this thing okay i think what i'll do is yeah and then i can always just put some of it back together as much as i need to i don't i was thinking should i take it off i'm not going to ever recrimp that so i think i'm going to wire wrap it maybe Uh, wire wrapping is a real thing. Uh, if you've never heard of it, uh, I, I had a job in 2000 installing uh, telephone uh, equipment in telephone company central offices. That's where your phones, calls are switched and everything. And I uh, had to go take a class on how to do some stuff, and wire wrapping was one of them. Kind of need this. I think I'm gonna have to take it out to get to, to be able to do anything with it. Anyway, uh, and I've been in the uh, tele, uh, central offices where the wire wraps were have been in there. Uh, you would maybe think that they uh, might be prone to uh, corrosion and getting bad connections, but if they're actually, it's actually you don't ever solder in a central office. That's a no-no. Uh, and uh, wire wrapping is actually, I didn't ever know this. I mean, I've seen it here and there over the years, but I never thought it was a good thing, a good way to do something. But it, over 100 years old, I've been in central offices where the wire wrap, the old uh, electromagnetical, no electronics, no, well, there's not, most of the ones I went to did not have computerized stuff. The socket won't fit in there. Uh that I worked in. I don't think I'm going to have anything that's going to fit in there. Oh, yes, I do. There it is. Only problem is, what am I going to get a hold of it with? Let's see. I don't have any. Let's try the actual. This is a quarter inch. I'll see if it'll get in there and get a hold of it. I didn't think it would. I'll see if it'll get a hold of that. That one on an angle. No, it will fit it, but I need a. I don't have a swivel, quarter inch swivel, I don't think. Let's see. No. That's what I need is a swivel. Or. Just a pair of... I'll try my needle nose. This is probably not all that tight. I don't have any regular pliers over here. I can go get some, but I'm being lazy. Uh, it's pretty tight, I think. Or am I turning it? Yeah. 
Is it worth that much trouble? I don't think it's worth that much trouble. Or did I loosen it somewhere? Maybe? No, I don't think I did. Well, then I'd be fighting that one. I don't think it's a good idea now. Oh, I think I did turn it some. Yeah. Yeah, I had it loosened. Now, yeah. The uh, connector was moving all over the place. Well, I needed to take that off anyway. I wanted that off of there. No, I really did. I want to check the wires. See if they're going to have to be redone. Okay, let's see. I don't... I've got plenty of these connectors, but these are going to be a higher quality that can stand heat. The wire is not broken. Yeah, I figure if I move it once or twice, it will break. Well, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to put it back. Oh, it's really loose. It's been overheated. Yeah, that's why that looks like that. It needs to be redone. I guess I will put what I have on there. I'm just going to squeeze it right now to get it to stay on there. Well, that was so loose, it would never. It was not making a good connection. Right now, I'm just going to squeeze it so that it'll stay for my little playing that I'm doing here. <clears throat> I think I squeezed it too much, maybe. Yeah, the wires aren't broken or anything. And just for this little test here, this little play-like fix, I really ought to get some uh, sandpaper after that. You know, I saw some somewhere in the stuff I was touching, messing with. Where did it? Where was it? I saw a piece of sandpaper. Oh, it's right up here. In a place, very unlikely place. It was up here in this. <laughs> the stuff that was sitting on top of the dryer has got, it's really just got some stuff left over from one of the last projects we did around here. The uh, bathtub replacement and tile, and subsequent tile replacement because to get the bathtub up, you have to destroy the tile. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to sand this a little bit. I'm gonna, that piece is tearing anyway. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but oh well. I don't like just tearing off a little corner. I like to have like a whole piece that you can fold up and they keep using it until you use every little bit of it. Sandpaper has gotten too darn expensive. Okay, I think that's good enough for what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna unwrap this around it. But uh, I have a wire wrapping gun, but it wouldn't do this. But uh, you actually have a little electric gun to wrap wire properly. It'd be funny if it would do this. I don't know if it's right over there or what. This is about the same size that it, that it could do. You know what? I think I may go see if that thing is handy. I haven't used it since I had that job. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's just try it like this first. Because uh, I have probably have to disconnect my microphone to go over there. I'm rolling over my mic cord over and over and over. Not really a good thing. Okay. This is what I'll do. Not that much. Let's see if I can... Yeah, here we go, here we go. I'll do it this way. See, it's been heated up so much that it's... it's you can bend it without uh, it breaking. It's ruined all the temper in the spring. 
that's the only reason I can do this at all, see. There we go. I don't think I, that was near tight enough to stay to anything. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I can weave it through in and out. Well, it's kind of being... Let's just leave it like that and see if it'll go on there. Quit falling. Quit dropping it. Oh, it broke down there. Right there where I was saying that it looked burnt. It's, yeah, this is what I was talking about. See, I've done, when I was, I think I was a kid when I did it. Trying to fix an old electric heater or something. It, it, it's it been heated so many years that the whole thing is just ruined. Uh, that just broke. It's just that brittle. The temper's ruined in most of it, and... Uh, you can buy this stuff. I forgot the name of this wire, but it's a certain process, certain type of wire. You can buy it in pieces of, you know, two to ten feet or whatever. But uh, it's really fiddly getting getting it on there. And oh, there's and like I said, I saw one that would probably work, but I think it's probably going to be worth it just to get the whole thing slap it you know take it off it's got some screw oh they come in through the back take some quarter quarter inch nut driver i imagine take these off of here put them back on the new one i'll just leave that like it is okay uh, i'm just wondering if i want to take that out of there now might be a good idea i suppose if i took it loose. I could get to these a lot better. I can unhook the wires. Yeah, I can unhook the wires. Oh yeah, take the wires off. So orange on bottom, black jumper. Oh, that's a jumper going up here to the ceramic for the heating element. And then the double yellow on top. That's how she goes. Well, I've got pictures, good pictures of all that, so... Okay, that's one reason why I love to make pictures. I always make pictures, and it's one of the main reasons I go ahead and make videos, uh, because that helps even more. But yeah. I mean, that... Usually you just throw this kind of stuff away, but you could mess around with it. Um, but it's not... I wouldn't trust it on anything, because, you know, when they break, they can short, and, uh, like, the dryer has all these fail-safes, so that it won't you know, burn, catch it, burn, burn all the wiring up in it, go back, you know, short running back through your wires and catch your house on fire. You don't want that. Uh, and this has good fail safes. Some things don't uh, have real good fail safes, and uh, maybe they only have one. And uh, so it could be dangerous to play with stuff like this uh, and really use it, you know. I mean, if you're just fiddling around and, and you're, you're monitoring what you're, you know, monitoring, but you're going to burn yourself. I guarantee you, you will burn yourself fiddling with it. Uh, now I'm so old, I'd probably forget and touch it before it cooled down or something, you know. Mark my words, you fiddle around with these heating elements, you're going to get burnt. How bad is the question? How bad will it be? Okay. Uh, yeah, if I get this out of here, then I can get to that, and I can get these off a lot easier. Where's my... I can hear people in the kitchen, and so that means I can't go get nothing to eat until they get done anyway. But, uh... Come off there. Stand up. Man, on his feet, we're two in his seat. That's what my second boss told me. So I went back to work for my first boss. <laughs> that's not really why but anyway I was telling that story I think during the last time I was working on this oh now I know what the hammer's for I had a feeling I should get my little baby hammer clamp that real good and hard do that and then you won't end up breaking your probably won't end up breaking your your uh, 